Yes, I was talking to you, miss. I was actually talking to you. Oh, so you are the worst person. <laughs> it was a cold September night. It was my first time headlining a big festival in Toronto. Nothing could go wrong. Or could it? Please give it up for Jeremiah Watkins, everybody. <laughs> and just like that, I was humiliated. Sure, I was smiling on the outside, but on the inside, I was crying. So what did I do next? I did what I always do. I riffed my way out. You know, I knew this was gonna be a special show. When I walked out, I got rejected instantly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, maybe the audience didn't see that. <laughs> and then I turned and Beverly was like, Aah! Welcome back to high school, Jeremiah. The high school riff didn't do as well as I planned, but that didn't stop me. I started talking to a guy about working in IT, and that's when I met them. Does anybody have a harder job than IT here? <laughs> and you're just all killing it in Toronto. You're all Scrooge McDuckin' every morning. Diving into your loonies and donies. <laughs> okay, we're realtors. Thank you. <laughs> this was more a gauge to see if there was any breathing people in the crowd. <laughs> I was looking for some kind of energy. I'm gonna be honest, guys. The Canadian crowds have been throwing me a little bit so far. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was starting to worry that this crowd was gonna be a little bit too polite the entire show. A little too Canadian. But let's get back to the realtor. We thought you forgot about us. You think my memory is that bad? Or you have such low self-esteem that you're that forgettable within 30 seconds of turning away? You're a realtor as well? I am. Mm. What was the last house you sold? Last condo, like two weeks ago. Okay. It's pretty good. <laughs> and what about you, miss? I can't discuss my business here. <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst kind of person, aren't you? The woman who volunteered her job <laughs> and then cannot discuss her business here. As a comedian, it's really hard to not get the answer you're looking for. So sometimes you have to dig a little deeper. Have you sold a condo recently? If anyone has a house to sell in the next like, couple weeks, I can meet them out front after the show. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize I was talking to a drunk homeless person. <laughs> I mean, I can sell a house if somebody gives me the opportunity. Just meet me out front, I'll sell you a house. Right here on Queen Street. I got, I got a cardboard condominium. Five bathrooms right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. I'll be a realtor. I'm good at this job. <laughs> you, you really can't discuss your business. Really. Is this your husband, boyfriend, uh, work? Colleagues from work. Colleagues. 
Nice. Do you want something more? Or are you okay with it? Yeah. You're good? Let her talk. Yeah, you're, you're, being, you're being chill, you know? You gotta be as a guy. You can't, you can't show your cards all the time. Because if guys show their cards all the time, we'd all be in prison. <laughs> Some of them are inside thoughts, you know what I mean? At this point in the show, she unfortunately has my attention. This is the most energy I've seen from this crowd, so I decide to lean into it. What's the biggest uh, piece of property you've ever sold, miss? You know what I would really love? I would love if this is how this audience finds out I'm completely crazy. If I've been thinking that I've been talking to a woman over there the whole time, and this guy that I'm talking to is like, he's like, dude, I'll help him out. We're colleagues. Who is he talking to? He keeps looking right at me and asking about my coworker that I'm talking to that I might, do I want to have sex with a ghost next to me? I don't know what's happening. Yes, I was talking to you, miss. I was actually talking to you. I was just like surprised that you just assumed my pronouns. Oh, so you are the worst person. <laughs> I know your pronouns, and it's basic white woman. <laughs> Is that what you want, Toronto? <laughs> Looks like Toronto wanted blood. And I was gonna give it to him. Who would have thought? And so quickly she became the villain of this show. It's incredible. Oh. Now what what are you what are your pronouns? Sir, if that's, um... <laughs> that's what you... Her pronouns are sexy wait, 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 you said her pronouns? <laughs> Choose your freaking words wisely, dude. Respect them, I don't know what they are. I'm trying to learn here. Have you learned he just, he just turned German right away? He's like, pronouns for this right here? This person uh, next to me? This person identifies a sexy smart. Those are the pronouns. Sexy smart? Yes. Man, I would love if I could projectile vomit on command right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> As sexy smart? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did you make those up, sir? No, no it's just... <laughs> it's complicated. <laughs> wow, I bet you're a handful on dating apps, aren't you? <laughs> I identify as sexy smart. <laughs> but what's your actual gender? <laughs> sexy smart. You decide. <laughs> and what about your pronouns? Me? Hmm? I'm, just, I'm just like he and him. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Same. <laughs> what up? Huh. 
What up, blood? <laughs> what up, gangsta? That's cool. Uh, question, miss. Uh, why did you feel the need to question me assuming your pronouns? Mm -hmm. If you identify as sexy smart? Yeah, but you called me miss. Okay. So, you would like me to address you as sexy smart the rest of the... I never said that. He said that. I would like to talk to the person in charge of you. <laughs> I'm really, I'm not trying to be controversial here. If you have a handler, let me know. I will talk to your handler instead. That's totally fine. <laughs> but I'm just, I mean, I, I understand it's 2022, but I'm just trying to have a conversation with the pronouns of you and you. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> well, I mean, you wouldn't tell me anything about the real estate. You said, uh, you know, so, and then, and then we, we got to the pronouns. So, uh, where are you originally from? It's not a trick. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like there's gonna be, like, they think, Sexy smart thinks <laughs> that there's just gonna be a ringside girl that comes out behind me that just with a cue card that says got her or something. <laughs> just like walks by, you know? Got them, got sexy smart. Sorry, I'm learning. I'm trying to figure this out. The more questions that I ask, I'm starting to find the less that I know about you. And honestly, the less. You know more about me than I know about you, and I'm at your show. Okay. <laughs> Valid point so far. Okay. I'll put the ball in your court. No, no, I'll put it in your court. What would you like to know about me? And then I don't know. We'll Right now, this is exactly what I want to be doing. <laughs> a what? Oh, interesting. Is that how you treat all human beings? That's, that's a little bit rough. If we could get more feedback in the morning. Now there's a lot going on. I decide to appease this woman by doing some material so she can get to know me better. Then my cameraman leaves mid-set. Super unprofessional. But I kept recording the audio from my phone. There's a rug on stage. I need a volunteer from the audience. I would love for it to be. <laughs> So Ratnam sits in front of me, and I sing him A Whole New World from Aladdin. Now, we can't play the song for copyright reasons, but just know, it killed. Then I decided to say this. Now, you put me in a predicament, because Ratnam volunteered. They didn't know what they were volunteering for. But what you made it look like, is that I chose 
one of the only Middle Eastern people. <laughs> Keep in mind that I'm trying to gracefully go in and out of material for an hour while also getting answers from this lady at the same time. So interesting. Won't tell me where she's from. Won't really tell me the gender that they identify as. Won't tell me name. Not even music. Do you have a favorite color? <laughs> I'm wearing Can I get the house lights up, please? <laughs> Thank you. The sound guy didn't do anything. Of course, it's a Cosby sweater. <laughs> Guys, I'm here in my walk because I hope you're coming to you. Now, most people would end their documentary there, nice and clean, but I'm not most people. I think you deserve even more. Same weekend, I'm in Toronto. Headlining, again, different menu. This section is so red right here. This looks like the seventh circle of hell right here. <laughs> My name's Devin in accounting. Okay, it's a cute riff commenting on the environment I'm in. But this is where it gets odd. Pay close attention to the same guy that I'm talking to later in the show. I get good vibes from you. But also, you have a dark side. <laughs> now, it could be the lighting. It could be something else. What's your name? Devin. Devin. Did I call you Devin earlier? I did. I did call you Devin earlier. <laughs> What the frick is going on? <laughs> Have we ever met before? I don't think so. <laughs> you all witnessed me call him Devin earlier, right? <laughs> You're a bitch. Wait. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is how it happened back in the day? One person guessed a name and all of a sudden a woman just goes, ban him. <laughs> He's a witch. <laughs> wow, my heart just started racing. That was the meanest thing a Canadian crowd has ever said to a comedian. I got called a witch and got thrown to be burned because I guessed the guy's name right. Did it weird you out a little bit earlier when I said it? Especially since I'm an accountant. <laughs> what the frick is going on? I swear, we've never met before, right? <laughs> what the frick? Guys, I'm freaking myself out right now. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna say something else that's crazy right now. Is your girlfriend Asian? <laughs> she is! Oh my goodness! Yeah! I don't know how, and I don't know why, but I was born with these comedic powers. I'm coming to a city near you.
So I went up, I went up to my dad, and uh, man to man, had to ask him. I'm literally pouring my heart <laughs> and my jizz out to this audience, and Devin walks away real quick. Is there anything that I can say to Devin that would really freak him out? He has IBS. He has IBS? Why would you tell me that? <laughs> I was looking for something like more innocent that would freak him out, not like an actual medical condition. Giving me the light, I have to, I have to go soon. He's gonna miss the ending of my set, and it looks like Devin is shit out of luck. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>